It's the Weather Blender blog for April the 1st, 2010. Hi everybody, Spencer Atkins here with you and we're talking a little bit here about record-breaking warmth. That's right. But even more important than that, what I really want to know more than anything right now is how does Bear Grylls do this thing walking and talking without getting seasick? All right, well, let's talk here a little bit about what's happened already. We got up into the mid-80s for our Thursday first day of april unseasonably warm out there you can see all the showers way out west and you can see how dry we are and that's because as we check out the surface map huge bubble of high pressure really over the entire eastern half of the nation that is going to hold form as we move into our saturday as well so friday saturday very very warm the old record for charleston for this day for friday 86. all right so we're going to tear that one up and we're going to say we're going to have a new record high of 86. All right, so that's a tie, actually. So we'll just say that it's record heat, at least record tying heat. Now, looking out toward our Saturday, Saturday it's dry, and then Saturday night, I'm going to show you one of the weather models here. This shows the precipitation to the west of us getting just up to about the tri-state area, about 7, 8 o'clock, and then you'll see Sunday morning, it's already gone. So that'll be great news for all those who are going out to church on Easter Sunday. So our temperatures, once again, are going to be running in the 80s. The next two, three days, we'll be back in the 70s for several days after that, and then a quick jot right back to about 80 or so on Monday, Tuesday, with a chance of a little warm front rain shower. So that's pretty much it. There's a look at the Weather Blender blog once again. Thanks for riding along with us here on the uh, Bear Grylls Survivor Guy episode of the Weather Blender blog. <laughs>